Hey folks, Chris here. Uh, some of you have asked me over the years, uh, what do I do when I work on an organ? And so I'm gonna shoot this little video uh, to show you a little bit of what I do on the job, because I know it's a, it's a burning question for so many of you out there. So anyway, uh, I'm here at St. Mark's United Methodist Church here in Charleston, West Virginia, at the uh, very nice uh, 1957 Moeller organ, which uh, we have done a lot of work on over the years. I've been working on this organ for about 25 years now and uh, our company has rebuilt this console and we've done a lot of work inside the organ uh, with mechanical stuff and changing the sound of it. Now I'm just here on a regular maintenance visit I'm not going to be doing any sort of big work but um, you'll see some of the ranks that we've installed and, and changed around in there. Now you see that this organ has three keyboards and pedal and if Scott's the cameraman if we turn over here the organ it doesn't look like there's much up there, but actually the pedal part and the first keyboard are in this section here. That section is on the first keyboard, and then what plays on the third keyboard you can't see because it's all the way behind me over in this section, but you'll see that when I climb inside. So I have already gone through the organ and decided what I'm going to tune today, and uh, I'm going to take the camera in there with me while Scott's at console, and you'll get to see the torch I put up with daily. So, coming inside the organ here, unfortunately they put this chairlift in the way, the organ chamber is through this door, and here we are on the first level of the organ, which is keyboard number one. Now, I don't have to tune all of this today, thank goodness, but I've got a few notes picked out, so I'm going to climb up here. And my thermometer it's always good to see 70.4 pretty warm for this organ I got my tools here a couple of blunt instruments and my little mixture mutes now without another cameraman it's a little bit hard to uh, do this but uh, we'll try now uh, we have these short ranks in front here which are referred to as mixtures because uh, more than one pipe plays when you play a single key and when they go out of tune I have to use these cotton little cloth triangles to make the pipes actually be quiet so that I can hear each one individually so I'm going to get one out here okay uh, Scott let's have four foot octave and see uh, I'm going to zoom in on you out there See, there's Scott out there at the console, where I just was, and I'm inside the organ in here, see? So uh, give me a uh, great four-foot octave and uh, grave mixture low B. Okay, hold it. Good. So as you see, I'm actually tapping on these little sleeves on the top of the pipe, either up or down. If you raise them up, it makes the pipe flat, and if you tap it down, it makes it sharp. Okay, uh, let's have um, on the furniture mixture uh, tenor D sharp with four foot octave. And so on like that. I'm not going to film tuning every single one of these because that would get pretty boring. And I don't know what the sound on this camera is like. It's generally pretty dreadful, so I don't know, you know, not hearing uh, what it's like, um, what you're going to hear at home. But anyway, so I'm going to start with some of this stuff, tune the rest of these, and then I'm going to head up into the division and back there behind these uh, swell shades 
and you'll see that there's almost a third more organ back there than you can see in the front. So uh, we're going to take a little break. Okay, so I'm done doing what I'm here doing with this, with this part. Now I'm going to go back there. Hey Scott, how about you close the swell shades? There, you can see the wooden louvers closed. I'm, I'm going back there. Okay, I open them up. I'm going to go back there and tune all the pipes that are behind those wooden louvers. Now, to get there, we have to come around here into the catacombs. I have to go down underneath this little passage onto the floor. And then I have to climb back up. The focus. Okay, now I'm now I'm behind those swell shades. Now this is the lower level of the division that plays on the third keyboard. But this organ is so big it has a bottom level and an upper level. And now I'm gonna climb up to the upper level. And yes, I do this every time I tune here. And now here we are near the ceiling of the organ chamber and voila here's the other part of this division this is where the reed stops are and so I always have to go through these first three sets right here every time I tune here and what we do is I'm gonna listen to another set of pipes as a reference these guys in front and I'm going to transfer their tuning to this rank and then we go from here again I don't know what this is going to sound like on the video camera but it's pretty loud when you're in an enclosed room because I mean there's there's the corner of the chamber there's the swell shades and so on so anyway all right let's have middle C <laughs> that I had to do half of it over there and then half of it over here and that's because the pipes are arranged in what we call a diatonic layout where you have on this side C D E F sharp G sharp A sharp all the way through the keyboard and then on the other side you have C sharp D sharp F G A B all the way down and that's why the pipes look like they are arranged with the the tall ones in the sides see that and the short ones in the center they don't always have to be like that, but that's just the way this one happens to be. So now we take the trumpet and we tune it in octaves to itself, which I'm not going to bother to show that because it's just more of the same. So uh, after we're done here, uh, it's into the pedal division. All right, so I'm done back there in the swell division. That was back through that little hole right there. And uh, by the way, those are some of the biggest pipes in the organ against the back wall there. You can't see them because they go up so high. Anyway, I'm going to climb up this ladder now and go to the upper level of the pedal and where uh, a rank is that we installed a few years ago and uh, do some explanatory notes up there and then I think I'll wrap up the video. Climb past the wind regulators. Now here we are 
up near the ceiling again. Now, this rank of pipes in front is a solo trumpet that we installed, hmm, I don't know, about five years ago. And it is the single loudest rank in the organ. Turn the camera like that. Now I'm up here, and I can show you through the grill. There's Scott down there at the console. Through the grill work here. And then uh, this is the walkway I just came up. Now we can look down. There's the door I just came in. And then the pipes of the organ go all the way around the back. These are the very largest pipes in the organ. You see those uh, were mitered so that they didn't hit the ceiling. Those go all the way down to the main floor level. There, uh, the tallest one is about 18 or 19 feet high. And then this is more of the pedal division in front. The walk boards, so you can get back there. And there, there are the swell, that's the swell division. Close the swell shades again. See, there they are back there, the volume control. Okay, open. And they open. And that's, that's where I just was back there. So now uh, I need to tune in here. But then, after that, I'm standing on this ladder, there's a room behind me through the wall here. This is the choir division of the organ. And this plays from the first keyboard. Now, this is a good example of how you tune different kinds of pipes, because people ask about that sometimes. This kind of pipe right here, these metal ones, the cap has a felt gasket on it, and I just move the cap up and down to make it longer or shorter, and that changes the pitch. Uh, a pipe like these up here have these sleeves on them, and there's a slot at the top of the pipe, and you move the sleeve up and down, and it affects the length of the pipe. And then here we have a, uh, a reed rank, and these have actually an assembly down here. You heard me tuning those in the swell division. There is a, a vibrating piece of brass, which is affected by this wire right here, and it is also affected by the sleeve on the top, so you actually tune it in both ways. And in case you're wondering about those tools I have, these are just pieces of uh, strap steel from a hardware store that I ground a, uh, a notch into. And so the reason for that is that if I'm working on one of these pipes, I can hook the wire with it, like that, move it up and down, or I can come over here and tap up and down on the cap of the pipe like that, and then it also has a sharpened edge. If I want to get a, the sleeve of a pipe, I can tap it down up and down like that. So anyway, there you have it. This is a good view from in here. You can look down and see see the organ below where I just was and uh, the trumpet I'm about to tune. I'm not going to bother uh, videotaping that trumpet because it's the single loudest rank in the organ and the video camera wouldn't be able to handle it. It would just be distorted. So anyway, uh, from St. Mark's United Methodist Church in Charleston on November 30, 2016. Hope that uh, answers some questions.